Ross Aid Stadium in West Lafayette. It's the Big Ten opener between the eighth ranked Wolverines of Michigan and Purdue. Jim Harbaugh's squad off to a 3 0 start. Purdue at 2 1. James Fogue to send it away. Off we go from West Lafayette. And it's a touchback. So Purdue to begin at the 25 yard line. From the 25 yard line, they swing it outside and start with a trick play with a throwback to Blau. A convoy in front, and David Blau takes it near midfield. The Boilers start with a bang and a gain of 22. On first down from the 49, Blau steps up, has room to run. David Blau back to back first downs. This one and a gain of 12 inside the fourth. Michigan brings an extra man. They get home, but Blau gets it off, and it's tipped and incomplete. No there's three games for this offense. Start out of the shadow with their own goal post and get a seam for Karan Higdon. Four-man twist gets to him. He lets it go, and it is intercepted. The one hunt. Originally was ruled to have gotten his hands under it, but now the back judge comes in and says incomplete. And they'll run it. Short game for DJ Knox. Purdue brings pressure. It's picked up. Spade rolling. Across his body he looked, but there was nowhere to go. And he's bumped out of bounds as he throws it away. Fourth down. Michigan brings five. Blau to the outside. That is a first down. No, they say that his knee was down. Bryson Hopkins, the tight end, looking at a third down and five. Boilermakers bring heat and get home with Marcus Bailey getting the second Purdue sack of the afternoon. And Spate still down. Time against Texas. On third and seven, pressure coming. It's incomplete as he looked for worship. Gears so far. Michigan will now give it another shot with a new quarterback in John O'Corn, who's in his second year at Michigan. Former Houston quarterback and got off to a great start there. Was the rookie of the year in the Athletic Conference or the American Athletic Conference a few years back. O'Corn's first pass play lets it fly right on target for a first down. Second down and short. Higdon again with a nice cutback for a first down. Across the 45. We check. 27. Chris Evans takes the fake and O'Corn hits Poggi out of the backfield. The fullback lowers his shoulder with a first down to the 41. Injury. He lets it go against the blitz and has the tight end Sean McCune for a first down up to the 29. Grant Perry defended by Oconia. They throw the out route. McCune has a first down. Play action. O'Corn a deep drop. Hits the crossing tight end. Zach Gentry to the end zone. He's in. Touchdown Michigan. The first of the converted quarterbacks Michigan career. Gifted to the two quarterbacks. Rolls away from pressure, throws it back to the speedster Terry Wright, who bounces to the outside, weaves his way for a first down across the 40. Two. First down from the 41. Play action. Single R rolls. Looking downfield. He can run if he wants to and does for a first down. Tackled by Hudson, but he. Wants. He takes the fake. Sindelar throws another screen, and Terry Wright hits it hard. Terry Wright stays on his feet inside the 20, inside the 15, and it's first down on a gain of 35. To the Boilermakers. They say it was inside the 10, first and goal. Sindelar looks back across the field. Open man and a Purdue touchdown. That is Bryson Hopkins from Sindelar. Purdue shows blitz, then brings it delayed. O'Corn over the middle, and it is intercepted. Navon Mosley with a pick. Purdue has it at the 26. Second and 10. Single R rolls. 
Across his body again, this time Cole Herdman, his other tight end, stiff-arming his way for a first down inside the 15. 29. To give Purdue its first lead of the afternoon. They love on third down. McCorn looking his way with a pump and go. He's free, incomplete. Out in front of him, fourth down. They're down 25, and a screen is absolutely blown up. Devin Bush having another fantastic game. O'Corn in trouble and sacked back at the 40. It's the second of the day for Marcus Bailey, and this Purdue defense generating a ton of pressure today. Clock dining down to 120. Here's a free play. Back shoulder throw. It is juggled and caught. Anthony Mahungu. Motion him through the formation. Looking for their first third down conversion of the day. Sindelar put it on the deck and got it back. Mo Hurst making an impact on this drive. Points. So it remains a three-point game. They run a draw to Chris Evans, who has some room. Yeah, and Evans ushered out of bounds at the 37. Extends the play. Uh-oh, look out. Able to get rid of it. Finding Evans, he's able to turn the corner, but surrounded by Purdue bodies and drilled out of bounds by Antonio Blackman to make a statement to end his first half. The Boilermakers looking for their first top 10 win since 2009. With a play action pass, O'Corn hits the crosser. It's a first down for Nate Shanley. The walk on with his second catch of the day on the right side of the field. Against a three-man rush, O'Corn steps into it. Off target and incomplete. Had Grant Perry wide open. Would have been a first down, but misfire. Empty it out on third and nine. Michigan bringing pressure, and it's broken up. Seven. Pressure coming. It's a screen. Perfect call for the defense, but they're able to recover momentarily. The ball comes out. A scramble for it, and who's going to get it? It's still loose. Purdue says that they have it. And they do. Second takeaway of the day for the Boilermakers. This is a pressure, then a screen. Fortunately for Higdon, Higdon he was able to keep going downfield, but didn't feel the defender coming from behind. It's always the ones you don't see that end up knocking the football out. Third season now. Play action and a free rusher. Bush putting his imprint all over this game. Winovich helping him, dropping back at the 26. Essentially, or by time. Instead of draw play, room for worship. He needs the 47, breaks the tackle to get to the 40. Set up a matchup inside. Pressure coming, O'Corn in trouble, stays on his feet. Tries to extend the play. A man comes free for a first down. John O'Corn with a big play to get Grant Perry the ball and extend the drive. O'Corn has time. It's McCune for a first down into Purdue territory. They toss it to Evans. He bursts downhill for the touchdown. And Michigan jumps back in front. A twist up front, able to collapse the pocket. Sindelar checks it down, and Herdman's belted out of bounds by Devin Bush. Incomplete, fourth down. Person another three and out, getting the ball to the offense at the 35. Well, Korn steps away from pressure. Throws on the move to Grant Perry. First down into Purdue territory. A corn to throw. Into a tight window, it's McCune, and a first down for the Wolverines inside the 20. No corn off his back foot, floating one. What an adjustment for the catch by Zach Gentry. A play in the backfield. Back to the ground and in for the touchdown. Up. Michigan brings six. Plow steps into the pocket and throws through the hands of Terry Wright. Number wrong on the call. Hence lack of a reaction from the Michigan sideline. No corn in the boot. Slips a tackler, and another, lowers the shoulder, right to the first down marker. Evans has a hold and stays on his feet and explodes. 
Chris Evans to the house. Touchdown, Michigan. To break it open with 6.46 left. On second down, Blah gets rid of it quickly. Spot on throw to Bryson Hopkins with a flag down as Hopkins battles his way to the 36. Third down, and Blau set. Purdue with an offer on third down today. Chase Winovich gets home with a fifth Michigan sack. All this check with me is whether they decide which way they're running the football. He's done a good job of putting him in the right play. He rolls into Jeff Samarja. Terry Wright on a sweep, loses the football, and Michigan's got it. They all but sealed the deal in this one with two and a half to go. No offense for him as this clock winds down inside a half minute. And on fourth down, they throw to Maurice Ways, reaching his way. Let's see where they spot him. It is enough for a first down. Brandon Peters completing the pass. Jim Harbaugh's got to be pleased with the way his team responded. In particular, John O'Corn being prepared. It's hard as a backup quarterback, always having that mental prep, but then going in and executing in a live game scenario. John O'Corn did that today. And Jim Harbaugh's team is off to a 4-0 start. Coming in here to West Lafayette after trailing at halftime, dominating the second half, outscoring Purdue 21-0 after the break. 28-10, the final score.